Our baseball tonight spotlight highlight a rematch of the 1993 World Series. The Philadelphia Phillies facing the Toronto Blue Jays alongside Eduardo Perez and Dallas Braden. I'm Adnan Here's what transpired. Whole lot of home runs. It was one to nothing Philadelphia, but then Edwin Encarnacion, 200th career home run. Up in the zone, you're missing Encarnacion, a very good fastball, high ball hitter. Hits it out of the ballpark. Colby Rasmus, ninth home run of the season in his 34th game. Keep missing location, that's what's going to happen. The Blue Jays, they're all or nothing. They love hitting the ball out of the yard. Speaking of, Encarnacion, twice as nice. Oh my, it's it's so unfair. I mean, there was actually speculation of, of why these guys were hitting so well out there in Toronto. I don't think there's any cue to it aside from their ability. Encarnacion, three for four, a three RBI, his first multi-home run game of the season. How much can the Jays contend, especially with this offense? Well, they need to keep hitting the long ball. They had nine home runs in this three-game series against the Phillies. Phillies, I know they're not that strong with their pitching in their bullpen, but their starting pitching was the one that was getting hit. Yesterday it was Lee. Today it was Burnett. You cannot have that. They have to be able to keep the ball in the yard. I do not care how prolific the other team's offense is. You have to keep the ball down in the zone. Yeah, and, and Toronto, I mean, they, they've got some struggles. Burley's obviously the, pro, the, the bright spot right now. Morrow struggling, Dickey struggling. Those guys are going to have to pick it up if this team's going to be about anything this year. And certainly the bullpen has been woeful as well. Phillies have lost eight straight, 15 of their last 21 against the Jays. So they'll be happy not to see Toronto for a while.